Hi guys, so today I want to show you a couple of details regarding the armbar that Craig Jones tried to finish Gordon Ryan with. Here we can see that Gordon is in no big troubles currently. His elbow is up here and his arm is fairly straight. The angle though Craig can create is not big enough. So even if the arm goes fully down to the chest, it's not enough to actually break the arm. And the reason for that is that Gordon Ryan's shoulder is high enough to create a straight line to the chest. If Gordon Ryan's shoulder instead was down here, his elbow would be here and his arm would be very high up. And that would make the angle very big and break the arm. Here we can see the adjustment that Craig does. He crosses his legs, so he puts his left foot behind behind Gordon Ryan's head. The issue we can see is that still he has lots of elevation and you can see his shoulder. There is still too little angle to actually make a break even though the hand would go to the chest. Here we can see Gordon Ryan in a similar position. The difference is that he is using his legs along the body of the opponent. And that has a couple of pros with it. One, the opponent's elbow is actually far away from the leg connection. Two, Gordon Ryan can use both his legs to control the body of the opponent and that blocks the hitchhiking escape. Three, as soon as the opponent gets his back to the mat, you will be in a perfect position to actually break the arm since the angle between the arm and the chest will be great enough to break the arm. And that's why the opponent taps seconds after his back hits the mat. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe.